Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, actually, today we are going to be in a different location instead of uh, in my backyard at my house. Um, we are going to be at the park in one of the original locations that you've seen some of my uh, old motivational videos back with uh, Bar Brothers. So I'm gonna go pick up Stevie and uh, head that way. It's a hot, hot day out here. Nice shirt, bro. Thank you. What are we doing today? We're going to the park to film, play around. Show them how to train at the park. Yep, get some reps in, freestyle a little bit. Actually, I'm not freestyling. Show them your hand. A couple of days ago, it was like, basically just blood under my skin. I was playing on my rings, and it ended up popping, dude, and it hurt ever since. Oh, you popped it? Yeah. So, I mean, any type of pressure, it just kind of hurts. So, I'm basically just gonna work on strength holds and front levers, back levers, see if I can get my one-arm back lever back. Do some routines, stuff like that. Show them yeah. how to work out at a park. Taking it to the original OG park. Yeah. I want to say I'm going to try and hold a plant on top of those monkey bars. Original bars, baby. Got you ready? Eight. Let's do it. Got to warm up, man. Yep. Warm up. This is where, when I joined Bar Brothers, this is where I did my, um, what was it called? Requirement. Requirement. I remember watching it too. Yeah. It was right here. That's where I did the muscle ups. I had to do seven muscle ups. Went over here and did like, I can't remember how many pull ups it was. Did you have to do dips too? Yeah, dips. I did dips up there. That sucks because you, you had to muscle up again to do the dips. And you know what happened? I recorded it one time and the, the, the first time I recorded it, I did something wrong and I finished the whole workout. So I had to wait like 10 minutes and do the exact same thing again. Was it the leg lifts? Yeah, I did the leg lifts wrong. Yeah. This was Anyways, we got pre-workout. Been sipping on it the way here. Yes, sir. So now we got to warm up. You ready? Get that swing. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. All right, hard part about this, you got a separation in the bar, so you gotta land just right. Get that chalk. Woo, man. This is no momentum, no kip, pure strength. Change it up all the time. All you need is the ground, pull bars, bench, body. What you going for, Stevie? I'm gonna attempt a straight arm planche. Now, don't be too, like. He's working on it. Yeah. He's working on his progression for it. This man just turned 16 years old. But, no excuses. You know what? Why am I getting on like that? You don't know how you feel, bro. Yeah, what are you doing taking the stairs? Climb stuff, you don't take stairs. There you go. Ah, Good. Dip. Now hit some muscle ups. Let's go. There you go. Good job. Like bars for flags over here. Yeah. I can't hold a flag, but you can. Yeah, you can, man. You just got to train for it. and That's true. That's, what, that's what we have to focus on, okay? People are always wanting to go out there and do what they're comfortable doing, do what they can do. But like us, we gotta push ourselves. Yeah. Um, you know, we can't do planches. Stevie said he's yeah. not good at that at flags too much. Yeah. Now, I'm not that great at them either. But in order for you to get better and to progress, you gotta do things that you're uncomfortable doing. You gotta do things that will get you out of your shell. Do things that surprises people that that is unexpected. That's how you get noticed. 
that's how you change lives. That's how you inspire others. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be working on some stuff, just some progression stuff. And eventually, one day, it'll be like walking. Yeah. Most importantly, when you do these things, you want to make sure that you do it smartly, okay? One thing, what I mean about that is when you train for something, for instance, the planche, you want to make sure you take it step by step. It is a very hard move to learn. I can vouch for that myself. When I first started, I started off with more advanced progressions, and that was my mistake because I developed tendonitis, and which really is just painful. It hurt my wrist to lean forward, and it hurt my forearms for a good amount of time, enough to where I had to quit for a few months and restart all the way back from basics. So make sure when you start anything, whether it be front levers, flags, planches, make sure you want to start from the beginning, from basics, okay? All these moves that you're gonna learn, they're strength moves, and it's gonna take a long time for your body to adapt and to, de to develop and, and uh, build all that strength that it requires to hold certain moves or certain strength holds. So you wanna make sure that you make sure that you start out from basics. So building a strong foundation, that's the main thing. You can't have a strong house without a strong foundation. So that's what we do and that's how you get your reps in. Too thick. Come on, not. Nice. He just said for doing it, they're too thick. Did you just do way it? Way too thick. But did you get it? Yeah, I had to tighten my grip <laughs> really tight. Should have went for a tiger bin. How'd you know? What? You went for a tiger bin. <laughs> oh, you said? I said I should have. Yeah. Hot. Ready? It is, dude. Clean. Planch. I'll work on it. What's the first thing we gotta do? Tuck planch, tuck planch push up. All right, show me. The key is make sure you lock out and hold it for a second at the top. See his elbow's locking out and he's holding it. Boom. You ready? Yep. Golly. Three more. You doing it right? Yeah, three more. One more. Excuse my bad form. What you got, Corey? Ooh. Live action. Learn this type of typewriter from everyone knows Frank Madrano. There's different ways you can do typewriters. A lot of people like to sort of dance. In my opinion, this shows the real strength. You know, you go into the archers and you go side to side doing the typewriter, come back down, step, step, controlling your body and going slow. Just like that. Constantly tightening up your core, getting your shoulders strong. In my opinion, that's that's the best way to do typewriters. That's how you can really get a workout in. Really learn to control your pull-ups and make other types of moves a whole lot easier. And you also have a typewriter tutorial, right? Yeah, check that out on my YouTube channel, typewriter tutorial, uh, different types of pull-ups you can do, how to get your pull-ups stronger. Check all those out. Get it? Get it. Never tried it on the bench before. Concentrate. There you go. Oh, Come on, get it again. That's hard. Get it again. Bring your legs to me. 
There you go. I thought All you right. had it. One arm muscle up training. One, two, three. Again. One, two. Push, oh. push. One more, one more rep, one more rep. One more, push up. One, two, three. Barely even in any assistance. Jeez. All right, that's it for the day. We got our reps in. Did a little bit of freestyle, not too much. Uh, trained on some different bars. Y'all remember these bars from my muscle up tutorial about three, two years ago, I don't know. But uh, I was back in the Bar Brothers days. So these are the original bars, man. Got a lot of memories on them. Still create more. Uh, here with Stevie. He killed it today. We got some one arm muscle up progression we're working on, different things. Some plants workouts. Plants workout. Y'all make sure to keep pushing yourself and don't ever quit. Y'all make sure to always try something new. Remember to surprise people. Don't don't keep people thinking that you're gonna do the same type stuff. Always surprise people, man. And uh, do something that's gonna make a difference in this world. Aspire to have a great life, not just a regular life, but a great life. So that means every day you gotta do something great. Every conversation you have with someone, every place you go, everything matters. So aspire for a great life. A great one. Peace.